What's up, guys? I'm John. My name is Chris. And we are The Hook. And tonight, we're actually about to be doing a live stream right now. So if you're watching this right now, we've already done a live stream, and you guys are going to watch that live stream reaction. It's the first time we've ever done this. So, like, yeah. Chris was just saying he's nervous. I'm yeah. over here sweating. You can't see the <laughs> black shirt, but it's sweat stains. Pouring. It's, like, this shirt was great. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you guys ever do want to catch a live stream, uh, we're gonna leave a link to our Twitch in the description below. We're gonna be checking out different shows on here. So if you guys do want to ever jump on and like theory craft with us a little bit and just talk about stuff, uh, yeah, check it out. Yeah, and then also we'll be <clears throat> posting them directly from the live stream to our Patreon channel. So that will be early access on our Patreon, and then you guys can check it out uh, on YouTube a couple of days later. But if y'all would like early access and no edits, there is a link to our Patreon in the description below as well. And that helps us out tremendously. Yeah, yeah. Either way, guys, enjoy this. Freaking smash that sub button if you're new to our channel. And, uh, yeah, let's freaking do it. Heck yeah, you yeah. ready? Yeah, dude. Whoop -boom! Boom! Boom! Oh! Freaking Attack on Titan. Where we ended it pretty much was, uh, freaking... Our guy just saying, Aaron, Aaron Yeager, pretty much being like, I'm going to kill everybody. Yeah, all Titans must die yeah. or whatever he said, I think. And I think there's actually a line in there because he said, I'm going to kill them all. And then later on, he said, I'm going to kill all the Titans. So there's probably some relevance to how he's phrasing things. Hmm. And just from like seeing it from, so this is being like a really retrospective viewing. I think that like, I don't know, man. There's a lot of cool stuff that I saw in the first two episodes where I'm like, they foreshadowed so much stuff. That's pretty shattered. rad. Like, it's freaking nuts. How many seasons is there? And then that was like the first two episodes. I know, like, I know. That's Shut wild. your mouth. Ah, so, a lot of really cool stuff happened in just the first two episodes. But here we go. Freaking. <laughs> uh, no spoilers. No spoilers. But here we freaking go, man. We're going to be checking out. Um, this is episode three. And then we're going to be checking out episode three, possibly episode uh, yes. four if you episode want to. three. Spoilers on your own. <laughs> you spoil it yourself. Checking out more from Studio Tiger's work might be a good option, too. Oh, that'd be cool. But, like, honestly, I don't even know what a spoiler is if I have no idea what he's talking about. It's true, too. So, like... Very <laughs> true. I'm just being vague, kind of. Yeah. Vague spoilers. But here we freaking go, man. One of the most epic hype intros of all time in an anime is freaking Attack on Titan with this song. So let's freaking do it. Are you ready? Yeah. Whoop oh, All right. Yeah, you gotta let it breathe. Dim the light <laughs> in the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a stupid name. <laughs> yeah. This is weird, because it's one of the only shows, except for, like, maybe Dragon Ball, that I know all of the characters' names. That's pretty rad. Yeah. I'm less than cattle. <laughs> oh, God. She's so funny, too. Okay. Horrible name. Change it now. <laughs> <laughs> Change it now. Yeah, I agree, Tommy. Uh. I'm normally not good with remembering names at all. The rite of passage is yeah. seeing it in their eyes. Mm -hmm. Look at his eyes. I was about dude. to say, I see nothing but rage in his eyes. He looks like the freaking uh, beast titan in the eyes a little bit. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Who said you could sit down? Headbutt. Dang. Oh, he's too happy. He's going to headbutt him again, dude. Yes, I However. did call her Mujito. 
Dang, he doesn't want your body. <laughs> His oh, dang. It's like so huge right there. Uh, <laughs> Walrus South District, yo. Mm. He picked him up by his head? <sighs> Listen, after this out there, it <laughs> is the always screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I I never have thought oh. about it like doing it like this, but uh -huh. like you ever watch those shows where you people like grab them by the shirt and just lift them like, up? Yeah. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you, and this is like so stupid. Somebody I can do it with two hands. Hospital. I can do it with two hands probably now to like probably at least like a hundred and thirty, hundred and forty pound person. Yeah. I could definitely do it with two hands. But I've always been like, man, how fucking cool would that be? Just to like lift somebody up from their shirt. And uh so used to like I still do a lot of workouts that would probably help me do this. But there's no way I can do it to a normal sized person. But yeah. like a little person. Oh, okay. Somebody like 80 pounds tops, I could lift yeah. them up like this easily. With like, no, I'm going to strain. You know what I mean? Yeah, but they wouldn't just see like it. Hand, like, yeah. throw or whatever. It's always been on the list, though. I just want to grab them and just lift somebody up one day. And just, <laughs> ah, but I couldn't do it one handed yet. You'd have to be like, if you were enraged, I think you could. Maybe. Yeah. If yeah, you were yeah, like, yeah. like just ah, super raised up, you, you'd probably. just instantly. And I could do even, it with two hands yeah. for sure. For sure, I could lift somebody up two hands. One I go, bro. John says to a three-year-old, "I pick him up. <laughs> you do not. You do not want this." Also, so Nitra said, "I hate the kind of mentality breaking people down to build them back up is psychopathic." And I agree. I think it's in true. a lot of ways. I agree in a lot of ways. I think, but in but so is type, war. Yes, war that's is what I was psychopathic. Say. So sometimes yeah. you need psychopaths. Yeah, to do the difficult things for you, well, which is horrible. But yeah. I would say like this, like think about, so, uh, what was it called? Dude, all this is actually really horrible to even say. Okay. Yeah. But like, think about storming like Normandy beach or like, didn't they call this place the meat grinder or something along those lines? There's no way that like any of us in our normal mindset or the mindset that we have right now, doesn't matter how badass we are or any of that stuff. Like there's no way that we have the mindset where we could just storm in there because like, you know, your friend next to you, most people are going to die in that situation. And a lot of yeah. most people did die in that situation. And so like them breaking people down like that, I think they had that same thing going on. It's like these tiny minuscule ants of people versus these massive Titans that are eating them and their loved ones. Yeah, you know, they're kind of having to like remove the idea of fear from their heads. Yes. And doing that by like, I, so I normally, I totally would agree with you, Nitrous. I think like breaking somebody down just to rebuild them is pretty messed up, but I feel like there's no win in the mentality situation of war, you know? So I feel like that's why it's always said kind of that soldiers are created. They're not necessarily born in a yeah. lot of ways. I feel yeah. like they're created by circumstances yeah. or whatever. So. Yeah, he is a pretty crazy person, and I do think it's kind of psychopathic to do that type of stuff to people, but it's sometimes needed in situations, in extreme, dire, crazy, psychopathic situations are. Yeah, needed. unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Boom! Like, I mean, if a titan's, like, looking down at you, about to grab you, you're going to want <laughs> one of these psychopaths. Oh, yeah, yeah, standing exactly. Standing there waiting to slash it. Yeah, you know? or just sitting there chilling, eating the... <clears throat> That would be me, dude. Yeah, straight up. I'd be like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'd be like, here. <laughs> Try it. Except Levi. You can't you can't separate from that man. A boiled potato? Oh god. I love potatoes, man. I don't yeah, but <laughs> Just a straight up potato boiled yeah. though. I don't know. Absolutely. Well, I still don't know. <laughs> Why would you eat that potato? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you asking <laughs> Why they're all like <laughs> eat potatoes? <laughs> Offer him that potato, dude. Oh God! You Only can tell half what that meant to her. Half? You could tell that that meant a lot for her to get. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> she got it all over her mouth. So stupid. Yes, dude. Sasha yeah. is amazing. Yeah, she'd be running now. It's so funny, dude. 
five hours straight. I would be mad if I had to run that long. She even gave him the lesser half. I know, dude. She's like... Oh, God. Oh. Wash out lane. Mm. That's what they call it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I feel that, Tommy. <laughs> God, man. Mm -hmm. It's going to be wild because, like, seeing that stuff would be... I don't even know. I don't even know what I would do. That's freaking wacky. Mm. Yeah, that was the wild part. I was like, I thought it was skinless. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. So I was going to say, like, that part right there would probably still mess with you pretty bad. It's so wild that none of them know what what, it, what they look like. Yeah. They just have heard. Yeah. God. I freaking love his tenacity. Yeah. Dang. Yep. Tough talk here. Yeah. You for real. Oh, shit. <laughs> I freaking love Aaron. That's why you used to hate Aaron. <laughs> oh, God. Slaps it. Oh, I thought he was going to shake it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Dude, she is one of the most badass anime characters possibly of all time. Is he about to be like, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That is a great compliment. <laughs> no shit. Top five to give and top five to get, probably. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <clears throat> Not if you put it up. <laughs> Oh, God. I freaking... He's funny, too. What? Would you wipe on my shirt? <laughs> my truck. What? <laughs> <laughs> Got you with a little bit of that trust, yo. How many miles did she run, dude? Good God. Was it eight hours she was running? That's crazy. All because of a freaking boiled potato. <sighs> I don't know if I'd ever eat potatoes again after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. She wild as hell, dude. I've been there. Just for some straight bread? Yeah, dude. She saved it just for him. I'm such a bread fiend. Like all bread. What's your favorite kind of bread, though? Garlic bread. Are you God? 
Garlic bread. <laughs> I like a little cayenne pepper on my garlic mm. bread, too. It sounds delicious. <clears throat> <laughs> Every time she eats, she gets it all over her face too, man. For the potato girl. Who is that? I don't remember her. Hmm. Uh, makes sense. Oh God! Okay, so a couple of things That's to talk so about weird. really quick. There. Uh, so in chat, freaking Nitrous said, "Aaron arrived at boot camp, a psychopathic mess." Psychotic which mess. Yeah. I would definitely say so. I mean, like he witnessed his mom get eaten in front of him at the hands of a titan, then his entire village and everything he knew smashed, and then also there the flashbacks that he was having or the visions that he was having of his dad and all that stuff that happened. So there's like, there's a lot of things that was going on with oh, him. Oh yeah. Cause he like woke up from the dreams or whatever. And he had like the key around his neck. Yeah. But like, but yeah. what actually happened there? You know what I mean? Mm. So there's like a lot of weird stuff that was going on with him already. Anyways, it has been a little bit of time, but I would never be able to get that image out of my brains. Freaking Titan. Just eating your moms. You yeah. Know? Never uh, getting that yeah. out. That's so a, that's a like worst of the worst. Kind yeah. Of thing. It's like a lifetime scar. Yeah. So definitely feel like uh, there's that. Then Tommy also said that the uh, I feel like she got punished because she only gave him the lesser half of the potato. <laughs> yeah, Maybe that's pretty she... true. I feel like if yeah. she would have handed the whole thing over, it might have been less <laughs> severe. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> but that's her though. She is like food first. She's very and I don't know why. I don't know. I I don't remember if there's a, like a lot of that stuff. And then also mm -hmm. Neptune said, I disagree somewhat with that. She's badass, but I have issues with Mikasa. I I could see that for sure. She's got some character flaws, but I feel like, especially even after going back and like now uh, getting to rewatch this, I'm excited to see like what my perception of her is after like retrospectively seeing it. Uh. But she, in my opinion, is definitely one of the top most badass female characters wow. in the anime. One of mine. I'm stoked to see that. Mm-hmm. He was violent and violent before the Titans arrived that they just threw him over the edge. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I agree. I think, but, so, in my opinion, like, I resonated a lot with Aaron whenever I was a kid. I used to get into fights all the time. Literally, from, like, first grade to probably eighth or ninth grade, even in high school, I got into fights all the time. I was very, like, not that I was angry. Maybe I was a little oh, bit wow. mad, but I just got into fights literally all the time. Like, constantly. And, uh... That's pretty wild. I... Like, I don't even know if I can remember ever getting into a fight. Dude, Except for, fight like, with, time. you know, my cousins or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, they were basically legit fights. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you would be play mm -hmm. fighting, but it would get real, real quick, <laughs> yeah. you know. You do one wrong thing, and yeah. it just happens. Uh, so I think that's why I really, like, mm -hmm. resonate a lot with Aaron, especially in the younger years. I was very, like, that kid. I was, like, if anybody's getting in a fight with my friend, I'm going to get in a fight with him. Or, like, I uh, just didn't like somebody and I was getting into a fight with him like Dang, it just happened yeah. a lot and uh and especially like a smaller town I wasn't really getting in trouble for getting into really bad fights yeah. and stuff like that except the people's it was just moms like, well, call boys my mom. will be boys kind yeah of thing. yeah so but in saying that so I really like I, I like Aaron a lot because of that and I don't know yeah so I'm really curious to see how like my perception of all these characters will change over it I want to fight me because uh uh but we're just here if my opinions change, maybe I'll understand her better this time. My beef with her is that the difference between her and Levi, I think. Oh, all right, fair enough. Oh, boom! But anyways, that was really. <laughs> They'll be sent to the frontier. Where? What is the frontier? Is that like I guess the front lines or something? I don't know really, because the scouts kind of run out there and go outside the wall. Steady as a rock. <laughs> How on the first day? She just go limp. She just like. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. I like probably that wouldn't steady be able to. Yeah. On the first day. <laughs> and of course, he's, he's upside like, down. <laughs> he's top heavy. 
And also, I'll say this too: like, I like the fact that this show just didn't give it to him. Like, he's not just straight up like, "Oh, I'm the most badass." Mm, Three dimensional maneuver gear training. Dang. Yeah, I couldn't do that. High endurance, strong legs. Yeah, being tall, like, it kind of messes with your balance sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I would have trouble with that. Okay. Armin was able to, yeah. I was about to say, if Armin can yeah. do it. Raise me, Armin. Then surely Aaron's got something. Maybe he's too emotional. Maybe he needs to calm down. Hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, whoops. What if I had very long legs but a very short upper body? I feel like that would probably help you out in this case. <laughs> Nothing you know? but legs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like three foot legs. Yeah, like one and a half foot body. <laughs> Just. Okay, so. Aaron just goes to extremes one way or the other. He is, there's no middle ground with him. Yeah. Because, like, automatically now he's like, oh. I'm nothing. I'm useless. Yeah, After yeah. like one time yeah, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> what? How long has she been sitting there, dude? Mm-hmm. So, can I take your bread, yo? <laughs> Give me that bread. Yeah. <laughs> She's still like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so dumb. Mm-mm-mm. You just uh, scorned that woman. Yeah. You made an enemy yeah, out of yeah. Sasha. Emotional damage, right? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh, he's changed so much right there, too. I mean, that's <laughs> what happens when you yeah. talk out your ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think I know these dudes. Where's Armin at? He was like further in or something like that? Let's give Buska the name. Looks like a Mikey to me. <laughs> he might be a Mikey. Could be a Mikey. I think it's like Bartolf or I can't remember what his name is. Rainier. Rhino. Rhino. Yeah. Whoa. Oh damn. Must be Jack. Right. <clears throat> How crazy, Bartol. Yeah. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought it said Bertoli. <laughs> Bertoli. Thinking of the, what is that spaghetti sauce? Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> Bertoli.
men. Connie, smug one. have any will of my own Dude, they just keep showing. I know. I would like, and his <laughs> eyes right there were so freaking, so uh, detailed. <clears throat> oh no, freaking way, goats! What up, homie? How'd you like it? That's my favorite thing ever. Just like a moonlight. Last night was a full moon, dude. Damn. Tonight's an almost full moon. I have to bathe in it. Yeah. <laughs> So, th so they didn't train him. They're just like, you can do it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Gotta have a little bit of that. Okay. Freaking. No pressure. Just a whole damn freaking unit looking at you. And so is this See, crazy eyed dude. I'm not good at stuff like that. I'm not good at a. Uh, like with everybody watching like that. Yeah. I got to say, I am good at it after I've had a little bitty panic attack and Did she Disney. sabotage him to protect him? I don't know if somebody did sabotage him or not, but it looks like it. Oh, dude. Oh, damn. Oh, he knows his dad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Falls flat on his ass. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I'm like not coordinated enough to be flying like Spider Man that through the woods. That is wacky looking. Oh my god. That's yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. To be Sing. continued. How are those even powered? Dude, that's a solid question. But, so I will say this, man. <clears throat> Freaking, um. Well, first of all, I actually saw a video. There's a video of a dude making real life ones of those, and they're freaking awesome. Like, it's not like uh, not <laughs> as quickly like as yeah, yeah. But they do like launch out of this cannon, and it like pulls him up, and he can like shoot across stuff, oh, which is cool wild. as hell, dude. Yeah, but freaking wild episode because I mean, we got introduced to uh, Sasha, which is freaking okay. Hilarious. She was the potato the, girl. Yeah, the, yeah, potato yeah. girl. Uh. Bartol and freaking what is the Rina. dude's name? Rhina. Yeah, Rhina and Bartol. We got introduced to them. Which... I remember the name Reiner because it reminds me of Richter, mm -hmm. which that was uh, Richter Belmont from Castlevania. Oh yeah, yeah. So freaking awesome name. So we got introduced to them. Freaking made it through. And uh, but I think one thing that's cool about this too, and it actually even reminds me a little bit of like I'm watching Kaiju Number Eight right now. Yeah. And <clears throat> uh, Aaron like. He has so much anger and animosity and, like, a reason to want to kill these titans. Like, he's got this deep trauma. You know what yeah, I mean? like deep if, trauma and yeah. hatred. I feel like he already didn't like them before, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I guess, like, after the whole breaching or whatever, yeah. he was just like, that's the, yeah. the final straw, kind of. I think he had this, like, 
he had a really adventurous spirit. Like, I think he just wanted to explore the world. Like, him and Armin really wanted to see the world outside of the walls. And he wasn't able to do that because of the fear of the Titans. So, oh. like, he had this already hate for him anyways because, like, he felt like he was living in a box and he didn't yeah. want to see what was out there. And so he had, like, this adventurous spirit that was being really stifled. So he was, like, okay. being held down by the Titans at first. So he's basically, he's like, it's all their fault. Yeah, yeah. That I can't go explore. So is that, and then them eating his mom okay. in front of him. And it's like, oh, you really, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. double down on the, like, me hating you thing. So I hmm. think I can see more, like, why he just loathed them so much before the mom thing and then after the mom thing. He's just like, if anybody's got a reason to really try to rise up, I think it would be that. And then... Yeah, sometimes bitter hatred is mm -hmm. the only fuel you need yeah, to accomplish yeah. your goals, yeah. I guess. So in saying that, I feel like he's definitely got all this fuel, but I love the fact that the <clears> show <throat> didn't just instantly give him that gratification of like he uh, he automatically is able to learn the things. He can climb the ranks really quickly and all this stuff. Like, you know what I mean? The yeah. show doesn't just give them these things. Like, I honestly cool. wasn't sure if he was going to make it. Yeah, yeah. Might Until have. it happens. Yeah. So, so I don't know. I think that's one thing that I'm really. So I guess his problem was only just a de de defective belt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he that's could was capable. Like. Yeah. It's just his the belt yeah. messed with him. The belt. That's pretty wild. The freaking belts, dude. What happened if they didn't discover that? Like I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freaking Whoops. dude. And so I guess uh, I guess the officer with the crazy ass eyes, I cannot remember what his name is, but I guess he's friends with Aaron's mom because he was like, your son just became a soldier today. So like maybe he felt like maybe he owed it to him. I don't know that, you know, to check into his faulty equipment and stuff like that. Or uh, to like change. That could be it. Because I'm guessing if that was freaking well, boiled Grisha, potatoes. Didn't he? Wasn't, was mm -hmm. that his mom or his dad? Oh, shit. That's a good question. Grisha? I can't remember. Grisha sounds like a feminine name but i'm not sure if it is or not i thought it was uh, is grisha a, a mom name. or dad it sounded like a dude name to me grisha i mean yeah. i don't know grisha could be one, yeah. one or the other i guess yeah i don't know is grisha a guy or a girl can anybody answer us that in the chat i'm not really yeah. <laughs> positive on that one um i think grisha okay. is his father son of a grisha could be short for grisham grisham <laughs> yeah all right well that makes sense too then well i like it